Hey, hey! Welcome back, my friends, to the Master Warrior playthrough. As you can see since the last episode, I actually went one further with my house, adding a couple of cellar rooms. This room here I'm in right now is intending to be my little fishing room. I can do a bunch of fishing in the pond below us and then put everything either in the chests or, in the case of actually catching fish, we can convert them into food items, which will give us minor buffs or medium buffs. I can't remember which. And and then this left cellar room is actually our bedroom. That is right. We can finally have our spawn points set over here at the base. So yeah, very good stuff, my friends. You know what else is very good, though? The amount of support that has been shown on this series so far. I really appreciate all of the love in the form of the comments and subscriptions and likes lately, my friends. Thank you. Real quick, I'm actually going to disable the spawn point because what we're going to do to start off today's episode is a little bit of a Sky Island speed run. We have but one gravitation potion, and I'm hoping that is going to be enough for us to get ourselves over to the remaining Sky Islands. What I'm looking for in particular, it goes without saying, I'm looking for the Star Fury. We get the Star Fury, and I'm going to be feeling good about my chances at taking down the Brain of Cthulhu, which, by the way, is a goal for today's episode. So, yeah, let's see if we can find ourselves the other islands. All right, very good. We do indeed have a Sky Island. We're looking for some epicness. What do we got? It is a horseshoe. That's actually really, really good. I will absolutely take that. No complaints whatsoever. And left-hand side ocean has been reached over to the right-hand side of the world we go now, my friends. Oh, and would you look at that literally immediately. Here it is. This has got to be the Star Fury, and it is. <laughs> oh, you'd love to see it. But you know what else I'd love to see? A sky lake. If we find ourselves a sky lake, we can capture damselfish. And they can be used for, I think, calming potions. So, for example, we're trying to, oh, I don't know, do a little bit of a building project. We're going to be want to be left alone, right? We don't want to be hassled by no pesky mobs. So, yes, to be able to have access to calming potions would be a good thing indeed. And, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. A sky lake. Now, I could be wrong when I say this, but I'm pretty sure you only get one sky lake in a small world. I mean, as you just saw on the mini-map there, if you're an eagle-eyed viewer, we are approaching the dungeon, which means we are also approaching the edge of the right-hand side of the world. Also, we're running out of time here, so if there is going to be another one, then it should probably show itself to us in the next couple of seconds. But there we go. It's gone. Right. Confirmed. Only one Sky Lake, but we've got three proper Sky Islands. So, yeah, that's not bad going, I would say. But obviously, the star of the show is this bad boy, the Star Fury. It's a regular one, which I guess is okay. It's better than having a bad one, right? So, yeah, very good stuff indeed. So, with that little Sky Island speed run out of the way, I just want to remind you guys, if you are enjoying these episodes, and of course, you're excited to see more, do be sure to support this series with a big old like rating on the videos here. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content, of course. And if you do want to go one further with the support, use go Python when ordering any of my Apex Gaming PCs for 5% off, or to get 15% off any of the Terraria merch that is over on Terraria. Shop. So then, we were talking about the brain of Cthulhu earlier, weren't we? I mean, here we are. There's a crimson down here with one, two, three, four, five, six crimson hearts. And that, of course, means that we essentially have two attempts at taking down a brain of Cthulhu. All we need to do is convert this area into a bit of an arena. We need to take some bombs down with us so we can blow up the crimstone. And then, yeah, we should just about be good to go. Huh, okay. What buffs do we have going on here? We've got Shine. Thorns is definitely going to be useful. Calming, Archery, Swiftness. That's always a good one to have. Heart Reach, definitely in this case. All of the little Creeper dudes, they're going to wind up dropping little regenerative hearts, right? So, yeah, they're going to be mighty dang useful indeed. Little bit of regen. And, well, actually, that's just about it. Unless I get some Iron Skin potions. I mean, I think what I need to do, we need to have Platinum in that chest and we need to have iron in that chest. And then, yeah, we should be able to make Spelunker potions and 
iron skin potions. There we are. There's the iron skin. All right, beautiful. We've got ourselves a nice little set of buffs there. And all is looking well as a result. Let's get over to the crimson and let's start blowing the place up. <laughs> I almost forgot this stuff, my friends. Sharpening station, a campfire, and a heart lantern. We've got massive health regen. And of course, we've got additional damage via the increased armor penetration from the beautiful sharpening station. Ouch, that kind of hurt. <laughs> Alrighty, my friends, the time has come. Let's get this arena constructed with a few layers of platforms. And then we should just about be good to go for a first attempt at the Brain of Cthulhu. When it comes to the actual attempt itself, it's kind of going to be more like a feeler attempt. I genuinely don't know how this is going to go, whether I'm going to be able to do this first time or not, because obviously we're going to be in close quarters for a lot of it. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be an interesting one to say the least, folks. How does the Star Fury perform in relation to the Blade of Grass, though? The Blade of Grass does have a good amount going for it. It's quick because I've got the light prefix on it. We can do a little bit of poison damage every now and again, which, of course, is going to be good. Any damage is good damage. Uh, but the Star Fury can have falling stars that actually go through walls. That was one of the 1.4 changes. I think to the beauty that is the Star Fury. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect with this fight coming up. All we could do is get these buff stations put down and basically just give this a really good stab, right? All right, we're going to put our buff stations pretty much slap bang in the middle of this thing to try and encompass as much of this place as humanly possible. And now the time has come. I think what we'll do is we'll try and grab the hardest to reach hearts first. And then we should be fairly all right, I think. So here we are. Good old sticky bombs should come in rather clutch here. This one, of course, is going to have an undertaker. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. We can, of course, sell that for a little bit of dosh. So that's always good. There is, of course, a couple of weapons we can use from these things. We've got the rotted fork and I think whatever the Borlo Hurt equivalent is. Or is that the equivalent? I can't remember. What have we got here? Another Undertaker. Ah, wait. Or isn't there an equivalent to the Borlo Hurt? I don't think there's a flail weapon to come out of these, right? Or is it the Drippler Crippler I'm thinking of? Ah, that might be it, actually. That's something I think you get from the Blood Moon? Blood Moon Fishing? Oh, hell! No! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Oh, 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 no. Let me in the arena. There we are. All right, here we go. Oh, dear. I wasn't really expecting to do this right now. I was kind of hoping maybe I'd have a little bit of time. <laughs> but no, the explosion just sort of set it all off. And all hell was broken loose. Ah, jeez. All right, the good news is we seem to be keeping these guys at bay fairly all right, actually. I am genuinely staggered. I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would. But of course, it's going to be the second phase where things start getting a little bit interesting. We need to try and determine which of all of the Brain of Cthulhu's that will eventually spawn in. We need to figure out which one is the real one. And here we go, in fact. Oh, boy. This is going to be an interesting one. 2,600 health. The good news is I can quite easily keep this guy at bay. Wow, I, once again, I'm actually kind of staggered at how well the grass blade is performing. Oh, no, no, no. This is where things start getting interesting. I don't know which one's the real one. We need to try and work with, like, mirror images here. And it's very, very difficult, I assure you. Although, once again, we can sort of, kind of keep these guys at bay sometimes. 700 health. It's becoming extremely difficult to figure out which one is the real one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, jeez. All right, 100 health. And he's done. I wasn't scared. <laughs> I wasn't scared one bit, my friends. Not even one bit. <laughs> uh, first time rolling, my friends. What can I say, eh? Woo! Okay. Absolutely fantastic. We actually just did that. And check it out. We've got a sleeping man down here. 
Okay, yeah, you do you, buddy. I'm gonna buy an Eternia Crystal Stand, and I'm also gonna go ahead and get myself a bunch of these bad boys, because I imagine the Old One's Army will be something I want to take down eventually. There are a couple of melee weapons to come later down the line that we can get from Old One's Army, so yeah. All right, question. Do we go full on and get a second Brain of Cthulhu taken out. I think that'd be a good idea. We try and make usage of all of the buffs that we have going on, okay? I think that'd be a very good idea, in fact. Right, let's grab this. Let's grab that. Hey, there's the Rotted Fork. That's kind of cool. Right, I didn't see what was dropped on the left-hand side over here, though, so don't worry. I do realize that I didn't pick up whatever was over there. Uh, what is it? Oh, hey! That's pretty good. I actually needed that. Nice. Increases movement speed after taking damage. That's pretty boss. We combine that with, I think, the honeycomb accessory? And oh man, we got ourselves a good accessory right there. The sweetheart necklace. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, here we go. We're going for this guy again. And this time I'm able to get to the arena. Nice and easy like. All right, excellent. Absolutely excellent, my friends. I'm kind of tempted to see how the Star Fury might perform. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It doesn't seem to pierce is the thing that I'm noticing. Ah, that's something the Blade of Grass does have going for it. Not only are the projectiles faster and they shoot more often, but I don't know. They just seem better, you know? I think the Grass Blade is better than the Star Fury. I know, that might be a crazy claim to make, but, I mean, would you guys disagree with that? I don't know. Because this thing is just nasty, man. It is nasty with a capital nasty. I'm realizing we're doing poison damage to this guy, right? So all we got to do is look for the Brain of Cthulhu that's got the little one tick damage bits coming out of it. And then we'll be able to quite easily determine which of these guys is the real one. See? Ah, there is a way. There is a way. So it's the top right. This time it's top right. This time it's also top right. And top left this time. Uh, bottom left. What about now? Oh, well, that was a kind of a hard one to determine. Okay, right. Uh, oh, things are getting a bit crazy again. Kind of struggling. 200 health, but we should have this in the bag. There we go. <laughs> Easy street. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the brain of Cthulhu. Just easy. What can I say? This is supposed to be Master Mode for crying out loud. What the hell, Terraria? <laughs> oh, beautiful. All right, let's make sure we are picking up our buff stations as we go along. And let's go home. Oh, I forgot to reset my spawn point in the house. Whoopsie. All right, very good. I've already quick stacked a bunch of stuff away, but now we have the opportunity to sell ourselves a bunch of stuff. The rotted fork is not necessary. Neither are the undertakers nor musket balls. As much as the arms dealer is useful in most sort of normal playthroughs, in this playthrough, I don't think he's going to sell a single thing that will be of use to us as a melee guy. So check it out, my friends. Our first trophy of the series, the Brain of Cthulhu. Absolutely lovely. Lovely. And um, we've got a Crimson Heart going on. We can sell one of these here, Brains of Confusion. Uh, probably that one. Uh, what else have we got going on here? We've got Crimstone Blocks, Defender Medals. Uh, we've got Relics. Yeah, I think we're looking pretty good, my friends. Oh, hey, look at this. It appears that this spear has a greater reach. Oh, I wonder if it gives the same debuff as the Blood Butcherer. Only if so, I can see this being quite useful against crowds, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, very good. So, we are now just about ready to see what we can make with all of these Crimtain bars. I mean, obviously, there's all the normal stuff. We've got the Malays, the Deathbringer pickaxe, and all that kind of stuff. Are there any other bits that I want to make? Ah, the meatball. Maybe it was that I was on about before. I knew there was a crimson equivalent of the ball I hurt, but I just didn't know at what point you obtain it. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let's start off, goes without saying, with the armor here. We've got ourselves a bunch of increased damage. We've got a bunch of increased defense and greatly increased life regen. That particularly is going to be fantastic for our cause. Anyway, here we are. Deathbringer pickaxe. And of course, we've got the flesh grinder. But here's the thing. Do we want to instead 
go for a Meteor Hamax? Only if we do that, we can save a space on our hotbar, right? So then, Amazon versus the artery. Um, I mean, I don't even know which one reaches further. I don't know how long they stay spun out. I mean, I've always been under the impression that the Amazon is superior to the artery. But again, I don't know. <laughs> Genuinely got no idea. The meatball, though, that is kind of nice. But honestly, I feel like the weapons that we've got going on right now are just better. I don't know, man. Maybe we could try something different. Sod it. Ah, oh, really? A bad one? How about a better one? Hey, there we go. Right, I'm just going to sell the old one. There we go. Right, 43 silver. What an insult of a cell bright, man. But there we are, 45 melee damage. The Star Fury, as nice as it is... I just don't think it tops the blade of grass. I'm sorry. I just don't think it does. So, goes without saying, it's going to be kept behind for the Zenith later on in the series. For now, it could be put in the chest. So then, we've explored Sky Islands. We have defeated not one, but two Brain of Cthulhu's. And as a result of that, we've been able to upgrade our loadout quite considerably. Crimson Armor. We've got the Demonic Meatball. We've got the Deathbringer Pickaxe, which is able to mine Hellstone. Ah, oh, lots of good stuff today, eh, my friends? <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Everything has gone smoothly. There's not been a single bit of today's episode that's been annoying. Yeah, I like it when that's the case, man. So, I think on that successful and epic note, it is going to be time to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, and of course you're excited to see more, do be sure to head down beneath the video, spend a second to drop a like if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!